this is really bad, but you know the people that see orbs in the sky? Yeah. Uh, go around that fly faster UFOs? than UFOs? You know, UFOs. Yeah. The- um, so what we do is we play with our own forces to make sure our trickery will work on the enemy. Uh, and those are directed energy weapons. Yeah. And we can make it look like uh, an entire fleet is about to drop bombs on, let's say, Europe. Who is doing this? The Navy, you said? Uh, somebody. <laughs> Let's just say a group. A group, you know. And you know this for a fact. I know for a fact. It'd be seen with the naked eye? Or yes, it was just something because that would only... it glows. It glows. So it would be seeable. You can see it by the naked eye. And it would leave a radar trace. So it's perfect as a deception. You can make them cigar shape. You can alter it somewhat. I'm saying they can just create, you know, little orbs and okay. split them up and make them do cool things and, you know, the razzle dazzle shocking off act of war. But if you wanted to bring the world together, as President Reagan said in several UN speeches, you would have a common enemy like evil aliens attacking. We forget right. our differences right. and we fight against it. So that was Project Bluebeam was to trick the human race into believing either God is coming down, everybody hears the voice of God, the microwave hearing effect, uh, get along, get, you know, whatever the new message is, or it was going to be the evil aliens attacking. And notice how they, all of a sudden, all the governments release all their information on UFOs, and there's a whole uh, division dedicated, and that's just deception. It's just, you think it's all deception? I think it's all deception. Really? Yeah. Do you think this is all some sort of psyop? What do you think the ultimate purpose of it is? Distraction against a lot of this human experimentation. Oh. Step four. Guess what else? The fourth step.